New at four, mortgage rates soaring to their highest level in more than 20 years. According to Mortgage News Daily, the average rate on the popular 30-year fixed mortgage now sits at nearly 7.5%. So what does that mean for you if you're looking to buy a home in Charlotte? We've got the answer for you. Well, I don't, but realtor Hallie Eplin with Henderson Ventures joining us now to help us navigate it all. Okay, thanks so much for joining us first, but Hallie, let's get into it because we've got two things happening right now. We've got this huge 7.5% rate making prospective home buyers put their plans on holds, which sort of makes sense. While at the same time, we're in a seller's market in Charlotte, which means there are more people wanting to buy homes than actual homes up for sale. So it's a bit confusing for someone wanting to buy. What is the smartest thing to do if you want to buy a home in Charlotte right now? Well, hi, Carolyn. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and to answer your question, it's a good time to buy still. So the minute interest rates begin to go down, even by a point, everyone's going to come rushing back to the market. That means you're gonna be paying more for the home. You may get in multiple bids, contingency waivers, all the things. So marry the house, date the interest rate, pretty much one of a realtor's favorite sayings. So there's always options to refinance in the future. So buy the home. Date the rate, meaning you can change the rate once you're in. So let's say the mortgage rates do go down to an all time low, like we saw throughout the pandemic someone can refinance their home and lock in that better rate, but they're still in the home they love. Let's talk about the Charlotte market right now, because according to Realtor.com, in Charlotte, the median home listing price and the selling price, they're the same, $430,000. So it seems despite these higher interest rates, home buyers aren't getting discounts. So what you see is what you get. Right, and home prices are staying steady. Like you said, um, the average is in the mid 400,000s. That is a very competitive price range for buyers. The average home on the market is around 31 days. So from their active date, it pretty much sells within 30 days, so still good. However, if you're not ready to be in that competitive price range, um, whatever your goal is, whether that's home ownership, whether that's selling your current home for top dollar, or even renting and waiting to fill out the market for another year, I can help someone get there. She's got you is what she's trying to say. So speaking of selling, yeah. what's your advice for people who want to sell right now in Charlotte? Yeah, I mean, if you're considering selling your home, the first thing to do is hire a trusted agent. Your agent is gonna do a competitive market analysis. So they can price your home at the top price they can in the market today. Always aesthetics are important when selling your home. So. During your listing consultation, do an interior and exterior walkthrough of your home and really think about what is important for the selling process. Curb appeal is huge as your first image, typically on your listing, is an exterior photo of your home. Other things like paint, repairs, staging, all of that can help you maximize the value of your home in the selling process. And that's exactly what people want to do. So, Hallie, I got to say, a little birdie told me that you're taking part in this super fun event that's become basically a Charlotte tradition, Dancing with the Stars of Charlotte. So you'll be doing your thing on the dance floor, and it is all for a good cause. Tell me all about it. It is. I am incredibly excited to be a part of the Charlotte tradition and dance for a cause. This is the eighth season they're doing this. The foundation that I am dancing for is the Katie Blessing Foundation, and they're building the Charlotte's largest and most advanced pediatric and adolescent care facility for those who are facing mental and behavioral health concerns. So I lost my twin brother in 2016, and I'm gonna dance to support all children having equal opportunity to openly discuss mental and behavioral health concerns and have access to the resources, treatment, and care they need to support that. I mean, nothing better than that cause. Uh, Hallie Eplin, thanks so yeah. much. And by the way, we are going to put all the links if you'd like to donate to Hallie's dancing cause. I hope you do. We'll put those links on our website. Hallie, thanks so much. Thanks, Carolyn.